Our yeah, problem with camera three. I need a Vukovic extreme. Okay, Woody, can you run in on that one? Are you, are you saying a Vukovic or Milikovic? Vukovic. Cookie, I'm gonna right. need some contestant names. Got it. I want to hear. I want to hear another question number seven, really clean, really clean. Hello, people. How you doing? My name's Cookie. Welcome to our show here. How many people are gonna be playing the? All right, excellent selection. Now, player one, could you give us your name? Uh, well, I'll work with it. You got a piece of your murder. Thanks. Now, player two, how about your name now? Thanks. Player three, seconds. how about it? Okay. You want to do a seven question? Okay, got it. 30 seconds. Player one, you have the letter Q as your buzzer. That's Q as in quite a nice day we're having, huh? Player two, you've got the letter B as your buzzer. That's B as in bo, 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 bo. And player three, you have the letter P as in cream puff. Uh, 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 okay. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna the ball for the purple heart off your Give me a bypass on seven. Alright, we got 20 seconds here, so listen up. Now, uh, you're gonna get a bunch of questions here. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. Then type a 1, 2, 3, or 4, whatever answer suits your fancy. You got it? Ten okay, seconds. I need everybody to quiet. I need you quiet now. Okay, lose the desktop. Cue graphics. Sun effects on deck. Okay, go to black. Let's go. Barking Billies, where your pet fat is doggone. One, two, three players on board the flight today. Good to have you on the show. Glad you're here. All right, time to pass out the screws. And here you go. Round one screws, one for each of you. All right, hey, audience. What do you do when your neighbor doesn't know the answer to a question? You got it. Screw them. Buzz in and hit the S key. It forces your opponent to answer that question. You got it? Okay, my little chickens. Let's see you fly. Category, player two, let's do it. It's number one. The name of this category is 12 arms, 12 legs, and all man. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. Every man wants to be a macho, macho man, but... Which of the following characters was actually a member of the musical group The Village People? Fire Chief, Lifeguard, Cowboy, or Hasidic Jew? Go for it, play... Whoa, boy. Player one, pick one. The category is sex, time machines, and really bad ideas. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Okay, imagine time traveling movie heroes Bill and Ted decide to climb into their phone booth for one more gnarly journey back in time. But this time, Bill and Ted decide to date their way through history, which is not a birth control method that might have been used by the women they'll encounter. Inserting crocodile dung in the vagina, coughing, jumping, and sneezing to expel. <laughs> Player two, who you want to screw? You got to answer it, player three. No woman has ever been stupid enough to try post-coital cleansing with spiced meat. Bathsheba, do you ever have days when you don't feel fresh? Player two, you're busted. Player three, pick a category for me. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Duck, and this one's going to be worth $3,000. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. Who is Huey, Louie, and Dewey's mother? Daisy Duck, Mrs. Scrooge, McDuck, Daphne Duck, or Bella Duck? Oh, go for it. Player three. Dumb Bella, or Bella for short. She named them Huey, Louie, and Dewey, hoping they'd open a law practice together, but, you know, it's hard to get into a decent law school when you're always running around without any pants on. Player three, select a category. Four. 
This one's going to be presidents and hot water. This question's going to be worth $2,001 bills. People often get themselves out of hot water with their significant other by buying them gifts. The bigger the present, the better. If each of these U.S. presidents were to lie and say he made his famous purchase for his wife, which president could claim he bought the biggest gift? President Monroe, Florida, President Johnson, the Philippines, President McKinley, Alaska, or President Wilson, the U.S. Virgin Islands? Player three, take it. Alaska has the biggest area of the four. Now, I don't know if Mrs. McKinley thought the purchase was actually for her, but if I ever meet her, I'll ask her. Okay, we need a category from player three. Uh-oh, Test Nut Slick Crime Store. It's time for a ticklish test go. Here's your gibberish category. Insult, suffocation, and fisticuffs. The opening value is $5,000. Okay, now remember, you don't have all the time in the world here. The less time you take, the more money you make. Okay, ready? What product slogan does this rhyme with? Dork, de-smother, fight Pete. Now don't let the punctuation throw you off. Hit number one, it's a slogan for a type of meat. Tell you, they got slogans for everything these days. It's a type of meat that comes from a pig. Last call. It's player one. See what you got. Be sure to write for our free recipe book, Dork. The Smother Fight Pete. Yeah, and then you could put it on two slices of rye, the other white bread. Player one, give me a category. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Number six, it's number six, it's. Next up, what the hell is a tuffet? And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Now tell me, which of these comes closest to describing what Miss Muffet was eating when that spider came along? Creamy River, cottage cheese, Swiss cheese, or creamy delight? Oh, go for it. Cottage cheese. Also known as curds and whey. Player three, select the category. The category behind this question is great moments in television programming. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. Which of these was not an actual television series? The ugliest girl in town. <laughs> Player two, you're getting screwed. Make the most of it. Torso the Clown was not a series. Hey, boys and girls. I'm Torso the Clown. I wish I could see you, but I have no head. Oh, that's right. Touche. Player three, that screw's coming right back at you. Okay, we need a category. Your pick, player two. Yeah, man. Come along. Here's the category. Really gross things you didn't want to know. And we will pay out $3,000 for this one. Now, for the most part, we humans have one orifice for eating and a couple for excreting. To put it politely, what animal really does excrete where it eats? A jellyfish, an eel, a lobster, or a dog? A jellyfish. It's only got one hole. Hey, um, this plankton tastes like crap. Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Number nine. Oh, and do, 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 do. Number nine. Number nine. The category. I want to rock and roll all night and wear makeup and heels every day. Okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's going to be worth a grand. Ready? Let's test your knowledge of 70s glam rock bands. Which of the following is not one of the original four Kiss Persona? Spaceman? <laughs> Player. There was no pirate originally. Yeah, I think he might have joined later during their sea chanty phase. What do you say, Player 2? How about it? Yo, have you been with nasty number 10? The category is family guilt trips.
Papa, right answer for this one, you got 3,000 greenbacks. You know when your relatives want to get you to do something, they might tell you that blood is thicker than water? But just how many times thicker than water is blood? Four times as thick, six times thicker, three times less thick, or 13... <laughs> Player one, who you want to screw? <laughs> you want to screw yourself. Well, old habits die hard, huh? Give me an answer. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Go for it, player three. No, but see if you can say it three times fast. Six times thicker. Tell your relatives that next time they use that cliche on you. Not that they'll care. We've got ten questions down, and for ten more, we're going on to round two. <laughs> All right, taking out some screws here. And, oh, I've been looking for this pen cap. Um, okay, here we go, one for everyone. Now pay attention, because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Let's do it. Player two, pick one. And now, 11. The name in this category is... Fishtails. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. If biblical character Jonah were going to write a book about his former living arrangements, which Disney character might he choose to co-author it? Pinocchio, the Tramp, Dumbo, or Snow White? <laughs> Pinocchio. He also spent some time inside a whale. Player three, pick a category for me. Uh-oh, West Truck licks nine more. Once again, it's time for a Junior Lake Test Truck. This gibberish questions category is tight asses and oppositional thinking. And if you're really fast, you can get up to 10,000 bucks for this gibberish question. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the more money you win. Now you know there's no screwing your neighbor in this kind of a question. You ready to untangle some gibberish? Let's do it. What does this rhyme with? Very scary, tight bun, very. Go for it, player one. Type in Very scary, tight bun berry, cow buzz were hard and blow. Can you help me out here with something? What the hell are cockle shells? And why are they talking about them in a nursery rhyme? Player one, pick one. Question 13. All right, let's see what we're doing here. You won't find that in the history books. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Which of these pairs might have collaborated on the phrase, give me liberty or give me a break? Paul Revere and Mrs. Garrett, Mr. Belvedere and Betsy Ross, Arnold Jackson and Thomas Jefferson, or Patrick Henry and Nell Pat and Nellie. Of course, Nell could have given us all a break by killing that Joey kid before Blossom got started. Let's have a category player two. This one's going to be, it's a nice place to visit, but, and we are talking 4,000 big ones. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Which of the following is not an actual place in the United States? French Lick, Indiana. Blair 3, what are you going to do about it? Big Bone Lick State Park. Be careful where you pitch your tent. Player one, player two, player one, go not. Yeah, I was there once. It's not that big. Hey, you three. Nice guessing. The correct answer is... Trout Lake. Hey, Trout Lake is illegal in these parts. What do you say, player two? How about it? Uh-oh, mess butt tit slime chore. Once again, it's time for a... The category for this gibberish question, cattle and board games. We're in round two, so this gibberish question is going to start off at $10,000. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. Okay, get yourself ready and tell me what does this rhyme with. Stu, stunk like cattle, Skip. Don't let the punctuation throw you off. from a commercial.
from a commercial for a board game. Monopoly Candyland 1. Take away player 3, Tabby. As a losing player would say... Hey, Stu stunk like cattle skip. Ah, <sighs> what an exciting life people had back before CD-ROMs, huh? <laughs> player 3 selects a category. Flush your head down the latrine. Ease your way with sour cream. 16. Next up, muck this. Ah, you're gonna be pretty good if you get this one. It's worth 6,000 bucks. Hang on tight, because here we go. If the famous social activist, author, and muckraker Upton Sinclair had a nightmare about one of his most famous works, what image might cause him to wake up screaming? His book, The Jungle, examined conditions in meat plants. Freud might have had something else to say about dreaming of having one sausage ground. Okay, we need a category from player three. The category behind this question is astronomy and laundry detergent. You get this question right, you pocket six grand. Okay, get yourself set, it's time. If planets were housewives, which one would not have a reason to use whisk? Neptune, Saturn, Mars, or Uranus? Go for it. Planet Mars. The only one of the four without ring around the planet. Player one, give me a category. Song to city. Here's the category. James Bondage. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Bond. James Bond. God, was that guy a stud. Which of the following is not a real Bond girl? <laughs> Player one. Or Dr. Goodhead, if you're nasty. Player three, take it. I think this Suzuki's got more throttle than you can handle. Lot of booty. Yeah, that's a name our writers made up. Player three, pick a category for me. The category, Critters and Calculators. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Is it possible that the television series The Beverly Hillbillies was written on a pocket calculator? See for yourself. Which is the only word that cannot be spelled out on an upside-down pocket calculator? Oil, Hillbillies, Silly, or Ellie? Player three. Believe it or not, you can spell hillbillies on a calculator. Of course, if you are a hillbilly, that may be all you can do with a calculator. <laughs> player one, player two, who wants this puppy? <laughs> player one. Woo, boy. <laughs> player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? The category is, dude, let me bum one off of you. It's gonna be worth $4,000. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. Remora is to shark as, spare bedroom is to mother-in-law, hitchhiker is to semi-truck, dog is to dinner table, or boxcar is to hobo. And let's see the correct answer. Hitchhiker is the semi-truck. Ramaras just bum a ride using suckers on their heads. A more successful method than using one's thumb, but a lot less attractive. Okay, we need a category. Your pick, player two. Jack attack time. Soon as you see two words on the screen that go together, buzz in. Two thousand bucks if you're right, two thousand off if you're wrong. Every time you're wrong. And careful, cause not all matches are equal. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. There's no place like. Keep that in mind as you put your finger on your buzzer. 
Good luck. You really controlled that game, didn't you? Well, control yourself, cuz... You don't know Jack. Hey, great show, everyone. Really, really great work. Contestants, what's the plan? Uh, yeah, I'm checking it out. Hey, uh, listen, you guys, if you want to play again, you just let me know whenever you're ready, okay? 